face. It's almost live. Here we go. Be on your best behavior now. No. I have to find you and then mute you. Yeah. It takes a second. So is that under the Susan Gerbeck or the Psychics Explained? Psychics Explained. It's under Psychics Explained, I believe. Wait, Susan, am I supposed to have that screen up? Well, you don't have to. It's just only if you want. You only have one monitor, Mark, so I don't think you need to bother. Yeah, I'm. I'm Unless you want to look at it on your phone or something. There we are. Hi, everybody. Thank Welcome you. to the Thunder first, Thunder. first time we have ever done this. And I just, you know, sometimes you just have those moments where you're like, hey, <laughs> why don't we try this? Cold reading bingo. Well, I was actually watching a, I was, I was recording one of Cheryl Murphy's videos or one of, a, oh, it was a Thomas John video. That's what it was. I just recorded it the other day. I put it up on my channel and I said something about bingo, you know, I said, oh, I'm going to write that down. And I wrote it down on my notes. I said, I should look into doing a bingo, cold reading bingo someday. So why not? Let's try it. So you should give, give credit to the person who first thought of the bingo. Who was concept. that? I think it was Ross Blotcher, wasn't it? I think it predates Ross Blotcher because when I went and looked on the when I went and looked at the uh, like a scene if there was bingo cards already created, I saw yeah. them for the JREF and I saw them for the Capillary Skeptics National Capillary Skeptics. They had published well, I remember them. we handed we handed them out to people at Chip Coffee's mm -hmm. show. So that is 2013. And we told them there's going to be big prizes. You know, if you get four or five in a row, be sure to shout out bingo, which we thought would be really funny because the psychic would be up there and people are going, bingo. <laughs> what is going I got on? bingo. Well, that's what we told people to do, didn't we, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, isn't that? that for, yeah. That was, that was Nobody did, I don't think. a few years. But anyway, I just. Yeah. I we were going to scatter people around the room so that they would shout out bingo, whatever. <laughs> different times heck they didn't even have to play bingo i mean you could hand out the cards to people but you could have your stooges in the audience handing out you know just yelling out bingo <laughs> anyway yeah well it didn't go over very well okay so there is a chat on youtube so we'll be watching that i have more bingo cards that i can hand out if uh <clears throat> people want to play but they you know they're they won't be on the screen but they can play along with us now so if there's anybody who's watching this right now and you want to have a bingo card, let me know and I will I will send you a bingo card. You're going to get one automatically, Rob. <laughs> You're playing the game. So, all right. So I'm going to ask Rob first because Rob is going to get the first choice because he's colorblind. So. Uh, I'm color, color challenged. Whatever. Okay. Everybody here has uh, permissions. You have this co-host permission so just letting you know that okay let me make this big well let me change this because i don't want to really show this i don't really want to show this part of my screen because this is on a different thing okay so let me make this bigger and then i'm going to have you pick first rob so there are six colors at the moment there's five of you I'm holding off one just in case. And this will be your color for the for the of uh, your bingo card. And all the bingo cards are different. Except that I have some multiple colors. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just show you share my screen. So I know who's who. Okay, so Rob, what color can can you see well? Uh, the, the second one is that that's purple. I was going to say blue, but that's good enough. Okay, it is very close. <laughs> so you're going to be purple. Does everybody else see these? Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay, so let's go with Cat, who is for here first. What color do you want? I will go with red. Okay, that's just Kenny. Kenny? I will go with the yellow. Mark. Green. Yeah. And Adrian. There's two blues. So I'll guess I'll take the brighter blue that's on the left. The, the teal. Teal. Okay. Teal. 
uh, the one that's the Ocean. very first one. This Sky right blue. Here. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, it's actually blue. It's uh, uh, the middle one is more teal. Ah. Whenever you see the card. Okay, yeah, so I want the sky blue the one. Okay, so we're not going to use the teal right now. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first first chore. Yay. So <laughs> what you're going to do. Hey, Car hey, Karen. While I can only say for part, I'd like to get a card nevertheless. Okay, I will give you a card, Karen. So what you're going to do. I have zero idea if this is a quick thing or if this takes longer. So I <laughs> warned you guys. I don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a bingo card and that bingo card, you mark it off however it's convenient for you. And I'm not going to check. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to play audio. So we're going to stay on the screen the whole time. Um, this is about the, the reader, the medium. So it's not about evaluating what it is they say. It's not about what the person responds. But for the most part, it is just the person making who, who's talking, the, the sitter, I mean, the, the medium. And what you're going to do is you're going to listen as carefully as you can. And, you know, these are all various kinds of readings I've put together. And you're going to look for the clues that are on your board. And then mark them off. And then I'm going to stop after a minute or two or whenever the end of the segment is with the audio. We'll come back and see how many people here crossed anything off. So I really don't know what to expect. I put these things together <laughs> and there are all <laughs> kinds of stuff. So try to try to ignore anything that was the um try to ignore anything that was coming from the sitter. Okay. Only try to pay attention to what's going on with the with the person who's getting read. Okay. So let me get your bingo cards. I don't want to give them to you too soon because I really want them to be a surprise. So just to be clear, we're paying attention to the psychic only. Yeah, but there will be some talking here and there with the mm -hmm. with the sitter. It's not much, but there is some. Okay. Okay, here you go. I'm going to put them in the chat. I think makes the most sense. Here's here's for this is our for, chat or YouTube chat. YouTube chat. No, uh, um, Zoom chat. Zoom chat. Okay. No, okay here no. comes Rob's. That's the first one for Rob. And cat is going to be red. Okay, cat. Here's yours. Kenny is yellow. I think there's somebody else who wants a bingo card too. Okay. Is that Carmen? Oh, no. Somebody else wants a card. Oh, I think it's Carmen. I don't know. How Where's do I get the chat screen, Susan? Oh, it's on the bottom. I'm going to send it to you right now. Oh, okay. Mark is green. Now, does these open up for you? Yeah, yes. mine opened up. Okay, there's yours, Mark, right now. I just put it in the chat at the very bottom. It says chat on the bottom of your Zoom screen. If not, uh -huh. I'll send it to you over here. Let me send Hold it to you second. for Messenger. Chat. Oh, there's Cindy. It's Cindy, yeah. Oh, hi, Cindy. I don't, oh, what did I just do? <laughs> you broke it. Okay. Let me send it to you, Mark, this way. Well, it doesn't matter. I just I just counted myself out. Hold on a second. You broke it. You broke it. He has to buy it now. <laughs> okay, and Adrian, you're blue. Correct. Okay. Okay, I got I got the green boxes now. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> but I still don't. Oh, I see the chat. Okay. Okay. So they all open for you guys, right? Now, let me give these over for the. Um, let me give, give these out to Cindy and to Karen, who've asked. Nice and polite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the one I thought you were describing. This is much better because I thought you said you were, we were going to have blank cards and I didn't understand that. So what I just did is I copied this into Microsoft Paint and mm -hmm. now I'm just going to put a big like zero circle, you know, stamp each one that comes up. That's right? fine. That, that's what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, it was just if you weren't comfortable marking it electronically, you could do a blank grid on paper mm -hmm. to mark them off that way. Yeah, exactly. 
Let me just teal green is Mark. Okay, so get comfortable with that. I'm just handing out a couple more cards. And Kenny. <laughs> I just want to know who's key, who's is who's. Oh, these are fun. Now Adrian, I made these up. How did you get the little ghost on your name? I added it like I copied and pasted an emoji just from Facebook, I think, and just okay. and added and just control V'd it after my name on rename myself. Ah, oh, clever. Do you like my ghost? Know. Zoom could do. do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have a printed copy out. Could print it out nicely, actually. Okay, Karen, you should have yours. Karen, you should have a, a green. And Cindy, you should have a purple. And what they've got, so they have. Okay, so then they should be, Karen and, and Cindy, make sure you can open up yours. So. so so since mm -hmm. I don't see the other people in, in bingo, you just have a subset, all the same number. So, so does anyone have any of the same words that I have or anyone else has? Or is it so, Rob, you have purple. No, I don't mean the color. I mean, are, are any of the words that are on mine, the 25 words repeated elsewhere in anyone else's card? Some are. Yeah. OK, but not all. I get so it. I've given Cindy Clark your bingo card, the same purple one, but I've mixed up her. Mm -hmm. So hers and yours have all the same names, all the same everything on it, but they're mixed. So we won't get bingo at the same time. No, but mm -hmm. she's a check on you. So mm -hmm. if you, so if she calls out and she says, oh, I got this, I got this, you didn't get it, then you weren't paying carefully attention. No, 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 because if they're not in the same order. Uh, no, I, but you will put it on your, put an X on your box. Yeah, but they won't oh, be in a straight shit, line and they'll be in a straight line on her. Right, but she'll be able to say she got something. So Kat, why don't you yeah. show us your screen real quick? I want to see your card. Show everybody your card. All yeah. the pressure's on me. Well, you got yep. here first. I got here last, so do I get a prize too? Ha! Ah. <laughs> okay. So here's, here's her card. Okay, so check that out. Not too closely, it's mine. <laughs> hmm. so i i also have energy in the center box does everyone have everybody energy? has energy in center mm. energy giving you energy and Drink. i don't want you drinking <laughs> too late do you still smell them oh my god right, huh? okay and okay. w Woo. you got an w and w going cat yeah no i do mm. <laughs> Can, just can I stop sharing yet? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, Kenny, you want to show yours? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I say that? <laughs> is it hard? Or I mean, is it difficult? What do you is think? It... <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> is it difficult? What do you think? There you go. Ooh, he has a <laughs> legs now working. <laughs> 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 You'll be surprised. What? Like Singing in the oh, shower. Oh, got her hair done. Oh, that's interesting. That never yeah, happened. Some ice cream. <laughs> I'm so going to lose. <laughs> no. Oh, gym name. I like this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, uh, Rob? Uh, yeah. Show your screen. Okay, I, I already have bingo. See, there you go. <laughs> that was just my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some different ones on here, but not oh, Canada completely. or Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So, Cindy, if you open up yours, you're going to see that you have the same names, uh, same things Rob has, but they're in different order. So the number one to five, I sense that. Okay. Mark, do you want to show yours? No. <laughs> Created I'll a share, trend, Mr. I'll share marks. <laughs> um, I just have to find it and pull it up. Cold reading. Mark, you're um, green. Yeah. Okay. So I do have a question. How yeah. close do they have to be? Like one of mine is man in uniform. What if they say someone in uniform then or a person? Just in have uniform? To, does it have to be the exact same nobody's word? Nobody's going to double check. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, oh, so it's like trivia. Said. We could just we could just take the point. We, just, make we it just have up. to have it spelled out, Rob. Everything's going to be spelled. <laughs> proper marks. Enunciation. Everything. So, so Mark and Karen both have the same one, but Karen and Mark's have different order. Chest area. Oh yeah. Uh, so oh, they're, so they've got a lot in here, but it's just different. The do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Is on there twice. It should be on a lot of them because you're going to see a lot of that. Do you understand, Adrian? Where's yours? Oh, my, not mine now. Okay. Just give me a second. Yeah, but Why it's on his card twice. Oh, oh, cat, cat's is pointing, it? Oh, cat's a, let's pointing just, at you duplicated it. Let's go oh, well, with it. The lick of the draw. Oh, so Mark's going to win. <laughs> Oh I, man! I said some favoritism going on here. No, I had bit. you guys pick your own. Fix, fix. <laughs> Sometimes hey, let's go, happens. Susan. I had a bunch I had to fix that way this morning. There was a bunch, but that's okay. You'll say it. It has happened twice. Then. Oh yeah, teeth is in here twice too. Is it? Oh yeah, I've got two yeah. teeth. I've got two teeth. Let's go, Susan. It's, I can't believe I have it in there. Try. I have fixed so you many want, of these. You guys. You want to fix it now, or do you want oh, to no, just carry no, on? No. Okay. No, let's just try it, they it out. It twice, they say it twice. You got to have one and then the other. So one's a wild card. So you can decide honest, which one you I want care? it to be your teeth one. I wanted this one because I have a black dog. So it must be my card. It must be your card. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. And, and share. Mine Mine has got a cat on it. And clearly, you know, oh. although it's spelled incorrectly, it must be mine. That's which right. One? The red one, it has cat on it. Well, mine has lived near water and I'm about, I don't know, a 40 minute drive from the ocean. So that's near. It's near enough. <laughs> near enough. Oh, and <laughs> well, mine also has February right? and that's a very important month in oh my, my life. Guys. So, mm. Oh my God, it has cake or ice cream and it worked at Baskin Robbins for freaking eight years. Oh, I'm see, Mark, Mark, can you think Susan a second to the audience what cold reading is? They know what it is. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> Who doesn't know what it is? No, the people watching on YouTube. We know what it is, but people watching may not. Okay, well, cold reading is convincing a, a total stranger that you know everything about them by just using generalities, which you will see there on the uh, bingo card. Common things, right? Yeah. Barnum statements. No, oh, you could try on common things too. Sometimes you'll get a hit, but no, generally it's common statements, Barnum statements. There's the shotgun approach as well. There's observing body language to I, let you know, know I, I you're really going the right way. That, you know, people can look up cold reading if they're unsure about it. And there's a really good Wikipedia article on the subject named yeah. Cold yeah. Reading. I don't think we all you have it. to do is look at the bingo card and you can see <clears throat> what what cold reading is. Got my official printout. Yeah. Woohoo! Me too. Oh, you printed it? I printed see, it. See, I should have gone and printed mine. I can <laughs> use too much of my color ink up, so I'm not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do, let's make sure everybody can hear. I'm going to play a reading. This first one I'm going to play is four minutes. So you're going to have to listen. Now what you're going to, I'm not going to let you see the video. I'm just going to let you play the, I'm just going to play the audio. So you probably want to mute yourself during the audio so everybody can hear it really well. It is now almost all of these have been up on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested, if you've, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you might go, oh, this sounds familiar. So what you're going to be seeing, this is a little different. This is the Vincent sisters. And they are showing up at the scene of a crime that had happened years before. And a woman was murdered in her house. And they're doing cold reading to the people who are the individuals uh, that are there, like the, the mother or something of the daughter who was killed. So I... I'm not sure what you're going to hear, but let's see if there's anything on here that you hear. But as I said, I'm going to, I'm going to play the audio. How do we do it so I can screen share, but it's just the audio. Oh, you know what? I think you're going to end up seeing the video. I think, I think that's the only way to do it. I can't do that because then I'll lose the uh, bingo card on my computer. You'll just flip over to a different, um, or just listen. Yeah, I'm just going to listen. Okay. 
So first off, I'm going to test, make sure you guys can hear this okay. Okay, now. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's make sure that it's, it, you can hear it first. So let's, let me play a second or two, and you guys tell me if you can hear this okay. Migraines? Yeah. Uh, there might be some kind of Okay. All right, so you might want to mute yourselves just so that you can. Um, Exclaim out loud to ourselves. Right, so it's four minutes. Migraines. Migraines. Um, there might be some kind of a drug connection to this too, a little bit, you know? Yeah. Right? And so um, that's coming through. And um, someone may have overdosed or a near overdose, and that also plays into the person or the, or the circle or the connection, understand? Or owing money or owing something that they feel is a value. You know, uh, mad that maybe something was taken from them. Maybe, you know, maybe they were supposed to she give somebody money. money. She owed it. She owed him money? A few dollars. A few dollars. It wasn't much. But, but I think maybe 50. She, she owed him money. Yeah. And yeah. so that's where this, this is the same suspect that we're mm -hmm. picking up on. Mm -hmm. And he, he owed, the money connection comes mm -hmm. in. And so, um, you know, now I'm kind of getting, uh, I was hearing an M sound, like Michael or a heavy M coming in. So I want you to, I want you to have this rosary. It's not a Michael. I know where the M's coming from. The M sounding okay. name. Okay, heavy M. I want yeah. you to have this rosary. I don't know if you're Catholic or not, but the rosary is going to give you a lot of peace. It's going to help you. And this is a, this is a, a very unique rosary, and um, I feel compelled that it's going to help give you some comfort and know that when you're holding that too, that she's coming in for you, okay? Because my sister and I are both Catholic, and so just know I want you to have that rosary as we're, you know, as we're coming in. But you know, but this is lets you know that it's a very special. It's, it's one of my special rosaries. It's it's, it's, it's a special rosary. Very healing. Very healing, healing. and uh, it's comforting just, knowing that she is in heaven. And in heaven, and um, just, I want you to have—I want you to have that, and she'll she'll come to you in dreams. Okay, you get it. Yeah. Anybody have a hit yet? Nope, I did. You did. What word did. did you get? I did. Sure. <laughs> what? Well, she said, "Do you understand?" So I'm taking the oh, understand oh, part. Do you understand? And and I'm taking I'm taking rose for rosary because if I was there, I would have said, "Oh, yes." Well, I took jewelry for rosary. I was going to say I don't know if jewelry Ooh. counts for rosary. Why not? Yeah, it definitely is. It's jewelry. Well, I know in the '90s it was considered jewelry, but. <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue with you guys because this is how it is to a sitter. Mm. So when somebody is, is giving you these, <laughs> yeah, this isn't this isn't trivia. You know, you you get to make connections, and if they seem right, yeah. they're right. That's yeah. But you may end up. I I in that case, I mean, I related to everything, so I. <laughs> bingo, game over. You got bingo Anyways. already. You're I win. Full, you filled your card up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I just mean if it's close enough, jewelry and rosary. What do you, you call might... a rosary? You might get rosary. even more specific in a minute too. Okay, so yeah, let's I've go never back. That jewelry. Wait, go back. I thought we're going to the next reading. Well, I'm going to continue with the same reading. That wasn't. Oh, minutes. I thought that was done. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Mute. The, um, when the kids get overdosed in the house from drugs or something that she knew. This one or anywhere. And anywhere that she knew the connection. I don't even. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll put that in the back burner because it might be a collaboration of two people coming together. Let's get let's get Samantha. Understand? Mm -hmm. It may not only be one person, but I'm picking up motive or the anger or the intent, and I'm seeing I'm seeing a little kid, or someone get into something or something happen like that, and so that would give you an identifier as. Um, who's included with coming to the house that night. Is this, is this, Wait, is this your granddaughter? It, but was it, yeah. you're saying she's, it was because she, you know this is? You're, you're saying it's, that's a reason. She, she likes that. She's like, don't be sad, I'm, I'm okay. Energy is always energy. Yeah. You know, we just transform <laughs> Drink. our being. And she's with us, she's around us. I like to quote Einstein, he says, 
we just transform energy. That's it. We just lose our physical. So she is with us. She is around us. And I was also seeing um, around the pond, I don't know if you have like little bubs of, of the little light blue or, or very you know, pink things growing up too around it, but very, very pretty little colors. She's yeah. like, you know, when you meditate and you love these stuffed animals, <laughs> she she shows me she's holding her an little stuffed animal and she goes, I'm a big girl. But she goes, I love my animals. And so she, did she stuff her animal in her purse or a bag everywhere she, she went? Everywhere yeah. she went? Okay. And then remember the chinchilla, Wheezy. But she would stuff Wheezy, Wheezy in the well, bag. She tells me everywhere around. she went. And so, <laughs> yeah, everywhere she went, she's shoving this uh, animal and the stuffed animal, the animal in her purse. And then she tells me, thank you for sending it with her. Happy and sassy is so, what I'm getting, Miss Samantha. Happy and sassy. <laughs> so getting. Yeah, Anything else on that one? Yep. Energy. I, I <laughs> got toy. I got purse, Energy. and I got the number two. Yeah, wow. I got the number two. Two people. Yep, one to five. I got S name. Ooh, I got the color pink. Oh yeah, pink was in there very briefly. Yeah, got her. Cat, <laughs> how many? Wait, you had a you had an S name. What was the S name? They were Samantha. talking about Samantha. <gasps> oh. They were they were connecting with the spirit Samantha. She's oh. the one who likes the stuffed animals. Well, they didn't actually say they didn't say it was an S name, but they said her name was Samantha. <laughs> These are really generous. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything in the chat? Because I can't see. Hey, it. we're playing by Mark's rules, so it works. <laughs> Everything counts. Everything counts. Oh my well, god. Samantha is an S name. I you can't argue with that. Right, and it was the spirit of Samantha, so uh, it was more specific than S name. But I'm spirit taking. starts with S too. <gasps> <laughs> okay, let me hit mute. Okay, so there are some on here, Karen. Got, you want to know the ones I got? Yeah, emojis. Okay, child's toy. Child's toy stuffed animal. Karen says. Yeah, and then right, I got. Right. They are okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are going to get a bingo right off. This is going to be too easy. No, you just leave it the way it is. It's the first time out. You can fine tune it later. Okay, so let's try the last part of this. Uh, there's 44 seconds left. Let's see what we get on this. Oops, wrong one. There it is. Oh, gosh, he's got, this guy's got some arms on him. You know what I mean? He's like a strong guy. So he definitely works in construction or he works with lift and stuff is it i don't know how to i got one little quick thing like they call him like chad or chattanooga or something like that you know no, he had a nickname but chuckles 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 chuckles, chuckles. 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 i was hearing the ch 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 chuck mm -hmm. okay is this chuck. all the same person i'm picking yeah. up over there yeah. okay yeah. chuckles the coloring um let me look at my notes here chuckles ch i had somebody ch pull up beside ch me and say ch why are you bothering chuckles for it <laughs> Right in front of the Nothing there. Ch 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 <laughs> Nothing. So what's the what's the scenario? There's multiple psychics talking to one person. I'm not clear what's going on. They're sisters. Yeah. There's yeah. There's two sisters that are doing the reading of a bunch of people. So do they always do it together? These two people. Have you seen this one, Kat? No. I this just is, uh, Adrian did. <laughs> So it was, um, and like they're standing video, outside in a, in a noisy place with somebody taking pictures. What the hell is that about? Well, that was a news station. So they send a photographer in and then that's a camera crew from a news station oh, that are filming yeah. this. I know filming it's, this is about 10 years ago and they're filming this. Uh, there was a murder there and I was trying to figure out if the murder had, if these women were on, you know, if they were, had gotten anything right, kind of like what Kenny did when it, with the Scoring the Strange episode where something's solved. So you go back and you look at the past and see if they yep. came up with anything. And there was tons of information in the newspaper about this crime. So a lot of the stuff they said were things that were uh, known already. So. But I, I don't even think, I think the Chuckles thing was supplied by the people right not the, absolutely not yep. the it was just ch I, ch ch I can't quite remember if that was how it was but also remember this is a crime that when this happened it this the crime happened in this video i think it's like four years later 
So there's been all kinds of speculation in the press about who was responsible and what happened and and that kind of thing. So, um, so what was the tone of the article or the uh, report in the news? Um, just what you're seeing. I, I've cut it even further. But it was just following this couple of uh, these sisters. And there I mean, was no commentary. There's no commentary? That's odd. So it's on my face. It's on my YouTube channel, Psychics Explained. You'll be able to find these sisters and you see bigger video and my feedback on there. So that was an interesting one. All right. So now we're going to move to Fleu. Fleu. <laughs> Adrian <laughs> likes her. All right. Oh, French name, right? It's very fridge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> David. Chuckles did it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I checked it off. As a Joe or Joe or Joanne when she started to get Chad. <laughs> like he's saying Chuckles did it. I mean, that's really wrong. You know, you think about it. They're blaming somebody who wasn't there. And what you don't see in this video is w one of the psychics telling one of the w the mother. She says, your brother knows. Your son. He knows all about it. He knows exactly who's involved. Whoa. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, so there's a lot of people who can be harmed Actually, by in, inferring that. something. <laughs> okay, so here comes to Fleur. Let me pause it. Yeah, I think you'll be able to hear that okay. All right, so Fleur is two minutes, three minutes long. So I can't remember if I stop it in the middle of it or not, but we'll see. <laughs> She's on a TED Talk kind of stage, like, look. So this, it's not a TED Talk, I don't think, but it's like a TED Talk. very fatherly to you like he would have raised you and been a part of your life in that way yes you see? okay yes. your mom's still in the world yes good um and you see here you very much got to say your goodbyes with this man yes see this? and i also feel here that at the time of his passing when he takes his last breath you would have been right there you see and i want to yes. say as well that there's a feeling of holding my hand being very close to me at that time you see that um, I want to recognize and I want to go back to some of the information I've shared uh, that this was a bigger man in his lifetime, but there's a feeling of towards the end he actually dropped a great deal of weight. You yes. understand? So there's a feeling of him only being kind of a skeletal version of who he once was. You understand yes. that? Because I feel this man drops pounds and pounds and pounds. And he's saying he's never been that thin in his entire life. You see? He was never a thin man, but towards the end he finally got it down. That's the feeling yes. I get. <laughs> and he was very, he had a lot of humor. You see this? A lot of humor because he's very self deprecating about this yes. that feels to be very strong there as well um, I want to recognize that he speaks uh, too of um, a connection uh, very much to his mother um, but his mother must also be in the spirit do you see that no. she's here hold on one second he talks about a very strong connection to his mother that I need to speak of um, do you see here then that this lady would have trouble walking on her own at the moment Yes. Um, or she would not be able to stand up in that way? Yes. See? Okay. And then that's who he's recognizing. Because he brings me the image of his mother who would, have had, who would now have great hip problems, mm -hmm. uh, great leg problems, you see, yeah. and must need replacements of joints. Yeah. You understand yes. this? And yeah. I feel that he is recognizing that he has actually been there through her journey with that on the spirit side. So I feel when he was here in the physical world, she hadn't had those surgeries yet yes. or hadn't done that yet. But I know that from the other side, he has seen it, okay? He has seen it. I know as well that she must have had a surgery that didn't go as planned or or went kind of wrong. Do you see that? It yes. feels like either the joint didn't take or like something didn't take. Yes. You understand? Yes. And he's wanting to recognize as well that this is going to get better. He wants her to keep the faith because I feel she's become very depressed about this. You understand that? Okay. So he's recognizing to her, I am around, mom. I'm going to take care of you. Okay. And that feels very, yes. very important. Okay. So there's a lot on that one. What'd you guys get? Nothing. Nothing. I got, uh, I got a couple. I What'd you get? Uh, another, do you understand? And since I have two boxes, I guess I can use <laughs> no. it. And then I also got mother figure. Oh. oh. And I got um, that's it. Did you get? Is anybody like really close to getting a bingo? I'm worried well, now. I am. <laughs> not real. Not really close. Probably if I. The, yeah. No. I, I don't want to say. 
Oh, I know. Well, we can get, it's just a line, right? After the line, we can fill in the whole card. We can do Yeah, that. we can do the whole card if you guys get this too quick. Some of these are a little obtuse. I doubt I will ever fill in this whole card. But. Well, don't be shocked because I wrote these bingo cards as I was listening to these clips. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Obtuse Wait, doesn't. I see doesn't, how it is. Is it so, relevant? So I was influenced heavily. Well, okay. like the purse, that was in the first one. Who would have thought a purse? But there was purse. Kenny got it right away. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm into this. Let's go. Okay, this is the last part of flirt. It's Mark's like almost as competitive as I am. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a prize. Huh? <laughs> Bragging rights. Okay, this is the last 36 seconds of flirt. Let's see what she's got to say. Um, just uh, uh, before I go, uh, you feel like you didn't get time with your child that's passed. You see that there was no time, like a baby. That's the feeling. No time. All the same, this child is your child. All right? So never question that still your baby because you feel it in your heart you see and i know in that same way um they come around you and they're very connected to you all right so thank you guys so much i know that they're together and uh i know they, they send you all their love thank, thank you people. thank you okay that people was are, are are just despicable i i actually i i it pains me to listen to these things frankly mm -hmm. and don't listen to them oh. <laughs> i normally uh, i normally too. don't Somebody has to, because I think that skeptics don't do not do enough of this kind of I stuff where we don't. get into the weeds of it and, and understand what's really going on, because, you know. I think it's a good idea to keep doing it because you keep picking up on the techniques that are being used, um, how they're using it, what works, what's repeated, and the more you do it, the more you recognize it so easily. Mm -hmm. you know, all I'm these too questions. empathetic, apparently. I know these people are being taken advantage of, and these people are con artists, and it, it literally pains me to watch this. You have to that divorce thing. yourself from that, oh, that, not that, that. that sickness because, you know, it, it's it's pervasive. And, you know, it's it's like you're a doctor. If somebody has some horrible disease, you still yeah, go, I didn't go to med school cut it reason. out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I designed best. spacecraft for a living. I didn't have to be empathetic about what happened to a spacecraft, even if it blew up. Oh, raw! No, we're not. It's wow. not. It's not empathy. It's just this is. These are the facts, and that, and as long as we let it go on, then you know we're not helping. So, is it, did anyone get anything? I got one no. from the last one. I thought I was going to get one, but she never actually said legs now working. She just okay, complained I, that the the mother or she, yeah, she was just having surgery and stuff. And I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> no, she never said it. I'm like, oh, okay. Mark, I got child that pass. I think your bingo card's the only one that has child that passed on it. Uh, Karen would, Karen would have seen it too. Well, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's. I, I mean, they're different. The cards. Some of the cards have same things on them, and some of the cards have completely different things on them. I mean, I could have come up with fifty different uh, um, reading cards. It would have been easy. I, I agree with you guys. I'm constantly learning new things about these tricks and the methods. It's it's amazing. I'll listen to something and I go, oh, wow, that's something different. The videos I just put up are uh, of uh, Suzanne Northrup, who's been around forever, and um, Cheryl Murphy, who's brand new, watching them. There's so many things I learned. So, yeah, I think it's it's neat. And you know what happens? I've learned more than ever since I started doing this in March watching these more private readings is that the skeptic community thinks that psychic readings are like what you see on John Edward and Tyler Henry, where they call out the letters. Oh my gosh, that's not what's going on at all. When you get into these private readings that are less likely to have been recorded, which I have coming up, the next one is, um, you're much less likely to, um, how do I say this? it's totally different than what those edited things are that are on um uh yeah, well, yeah john different. edward i mean we got used to that tv show because he just he machine gunned he was yeah. throwing out stuff and it was edited so it looked like he was getting a lot right and when i see readings it's either the, the most of the time the letter thing the letter technique is only like a very small part of it mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot that's just it's more of a conversation. It's more of like, oh, like this this last lady, like she said, like connection to your your mother. She passed and she, 
I think this lady was all like in that the 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 mother had passed. And then the daughter's like, well, no, she's right here. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> I laughed. I thought that was funny. I'm like, you totally missed that shit. <laughs> and nobody, but, nobody in the audience cares. You know, cares. that's the thing. When there's done quickly, though, so you don't even notice that right. miss because she moves on very quickly to while well, she's watching over her, she's with you, mm -hmm. and yeah. she's very charismatic. She's very well spoken. If if you were to watch a psychic for the very first time with that clip, you would think, "Wow, she's good. She's a psychic." I think it would be very easy to fall into that. So what you're saying about watching them all the time mm -hmm. is really you get used important. to it. Yeah, I it's find she's quite redundant, actually. They yeah. All <laughs> yeah. But what's what I like about this game is like when I was a child, my mother gave us bingo cards for when we were watching commercials. <gasps> oh, good idea. I yeah, like I'm aging myself by the fact that yeah, I didn't live stream my TV as a child. Um, oh. but we would look for things that the commercials were trying to sell you on, right? Like, and it made me a very skeptical watcher of all media. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a great way that people who are just kind of like on the fence about things, okay, grab a bingo card, watch a couple of videos, see how much actually falls into place. And uh, really I think idea. another thing that's really good. We, I love how you have energy in the center because energy always comes up. However, another energy. one you can put in the center is, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's in with everybody that you've shown me so far, Susan, they all say that. Well, yeah. And Mark has this, uh, uh, and I, I said this in one of the last videos I did is, uh, where I, yeah. Um, one of the last videos I did, I talked about how Mark, uh, does this thing where he says, are you, are you there? Mm -hmm. I mean, no, can you hear me? And then the person says, yeah. And they're, and the people watching don't know what you're talking about. They, they think that you're, you're answering yes to the to the response okay so mm -hmm. this one next one you're going to hear is audio only it's chip coffee now i'm going to stop it after he's finished the reading with the person because i don't even remember what this is this is the audio recorded from a from by a skeptic of a live reading so it might be a little hard to hear in places so do your best but it's chip coffee uh he's he's a major cold reader so this should be interesting. So I don't know if, I think it's going to just be a black screen when I show it to you. Let me see. Yeah, it's just going to be a black screen you're going to see. So I will stop it when he's done with this reading with this person. And like I said, I don't even know what's what's there. So here we go. Uh, well, Chip, um, we love your show, Paranormal State. We have a million now, questions Pay attention to what Chip um, said. But we came tonight because- The person you hear um, right now is the person- my wife, her sister lost her husband a couple of years ago. Okay. And his name is Dan. Dan. And so it's your brother-in-law. Yes. And what's your name? Wife. Stand up. Come, come into the light back. She, she's Melanie. My name's Melanie. Melanie? Yes. Not Melody, like music. Melanie. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's Dan. Dan. Brother-in-law two years ago. So remember, don't take the stuff that he's saying that he just got from the sitter. That's interesting. Don't know what it was. I find it curious. Could be totally third dimensional, but I find it curious that it took that opportunity when that has not happened at all this evening. And it did when the two of you began to ask about your, your love. Um, it feels like he was taken too soon. It feels like he didn't lead a full life. Now, your sister could have been married. She could have been Anna Nicole Smith and married to a 90-year-old man. I don't think that's the case. I think that she was married to someone who was younger and his life was snipped, was kind of nipped in the bud, correct? Yeah, he was older. I, but he didn't live to be an old, old man. No, not at all. Okay. It feels like what happened to him was progressive rather than instantaneous. Is that correct? No. 
You're wrong. How, all right, I'm going to tell you that what happened to him followed a timeline of progression. How do you think he died? He drowned in a scuba diving accident. Autopsy? That he drowned. So the cause of death was water in his lungs, blah, blah, blah. I don't know that I buy that. Who was, uh, who was with him when he died? My sister and my dad. And the people in the world that probably still died in front of me. So no other strange abnormalities from the autopsy. No, no, not not to my knowledge. Okay. Not to my knowledge. This just doesn't feel like this is the whole story. Doesn't feel like it feels like there's something more coming up leading up to the story and that there's more to it. It's progressive. I don't know what that is exactly, but this feels more progressive. He was a great guy. He could be stubborn and opinionated. Fair um, You two didn't always see eye to eye. And I think that at some point in time, you may have thought he was wrong for your sister. You might be picking up on my mom's energy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know why I feel like there's more to the story. And I hear you say he drowned, and I, I understand that. I just don't know that that's everything I pick up about this. I don't know. What's the deal with him and money? To my knowledge, they had, he had some credit card debt, but it wasn't excessive by any amount. I mean, my sister was okay financially after he had passed. How old was he? He was 46. Okay, that's relatively young. Mm -hmm. There's more to this story. I don't know if I can pick up more in a private reading for you, but there's more to this story than what I'm getting right now. Okay, I'm going to end that there. What do you think? Asshole. <laughs> like, I got one. Holy you get, crap. <clears throat> Coins. Uh, Kenny's getting a little bit of my feelings. <laughs> Coins? Coins, yeah. She's about money. That's money, isn't it? Yeah, she did. She said money. I got no money. I yeah, Mark's, I didn't get got, anything. Mark's got a really good card. Does. I have nothing. <laughs> no, See, I, and just, I, was I just thinking... used all this stuff for years. That's <laughs> all. Got no money on my card. What, what's, I, I was thinking that coins would be like you find coins, not yeah. Because I have coins on my card too, but I didn't circle it. It's because, but it's still money. Okay, yeah, I, I'm taking it then. Okay, I'm taking it. <laughs> Does they everybody money have money on their reading. card except for me? <laughs> hey, you got two. I got a sucky card. I don't have money. I got coins. Coins well, are supposed to be coins. I guess if you really want to take money, but well, uh, Mark says he's the expert. We're all no, cheating. I'm, We're all doing. This. I'm not. I'm not the expert. I just. I'm looking at tangentially. If you talk about there, I see some coins that would be, that would be about money. And I know that she she tried to make or he tried to make it sound like he owed money. Exactly. So I'm stretching it, but you know, uh, yeah. you did that in the first one too. You might yeah. come up with actual coins in a minute. It's, it's, I mean, ah. did you guys, did anybody here, is anybody here psychic and saw that what was going to happen where he says something, there was something more to that cat? Did. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, don't really? drop it because you were wrong. Just keep hounding because obviously there was more to it than a drowning. Clearly. Yeah. Who are you going to believe? The psychic or, uh, you know, the, the, that's, the what makes, that's what makes it so, I think, 
it makes me angry. This is the second time <clears throat> I've watched this with you, Susan, where they have doubted the cause of death. Yeah. And how healthy is that? And how wrong is John that? Edward did that on, every, on practically every show I watched. Wow. I was he getting said, ready for him to say, oh, well, it was definitely his time to go. And this was the spirit's way of preventing <coughs> his illness from progressing further right, right, right. where he needed treatment. Yeah. So he just died suddenly to spare him the pain. He went with the money. Oh, money <laughs> trouble. Therefore committed suicide right. or something. Yeah. I, I, I figured <laughs> I figured he was going to he was going to double down because just the fact that he has a microphone, um, <laughs> and he's, he's obviously holding a microphone. So he's probably on stage mm -hmm. somewhere. And yeah, That's he a, cannot, it's a big auditorium. I mean, I've had interactions with him and he's just all about the ego and, and he's not going to be wrong. So mm -hmm. to just oh to say that, though. Oh, my God. You're wrong. Yeah, You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Well, he says <laughs> his favorite catchphrase is what is it? He says he says, um, I'm the psychic. You know, it, what, no, he has a phrase. He uses the word shit in it. What is it? He says, um, on the shit. <laughs> oh, he, he, has says a he says, he says, I'm psychic and shit. That's what he says. And he it gets a laugh. Shit. And he'll say that like three or I four times each right. show. I'm psychic. Exactly and shit. half of that statement, right? <laughs> awful. Just awful. Shit. In the awful. okay, in the YouTube comments that our people are listening, Karen says, What a jerk he is. And she says, I had I checked off, have problems breathing. I mean drowning. <laughs> He's having trouble breathing. Yeah, that's true. Wow, that's well, that's if that's dark. true. Uh, hey, you know what? You got a bingo? Yeah, I do. <laughs> he didn't really die by drowning, so obviously he was breathing just fine when he died. <laughs> I mean, I have, a I have a lake house. And I mean, that's by water where you drown. So. Ah, no, he's scuba diving. That's cheating. Have problems breathing. Okay, so uh, uh, Cindy says, he was so wrong. How can Chip dispute what he said was told about the guy's, the brother-in-law's death? That's not what and we're here to do. It's a game, guys. I know, Chip's not that sophisticated. But the thing is, <clears throat> the psyche cannot be wrong. If they no, are- they, they can be wrong. Well, there they're going to skip psychic. over it really quick and move on. But no, Chip was going to double, triple down <laughs> until he figured out how he was right. So he was having a, you know, got up on the wrong side of the bed. People do that. I like how he tried to make himself sound, um, I don't know, intelligent or something when he was talking about the third dimensional aspects. <laughs> third yeah. Dimension. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that. I, I think I, that, yeah. yeah. The universe is three dimensional. Meant, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, well, you couldn't even say meant, fourth dimension. He meant fourth dimension. Maybe, I'm sure. Yeah, but. probably because that would only make sense. Because otherwise, it's just yeah. okay. We've got the fourth dimension or flat <laughs> paper. We could do paper. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we all live in the paper land. Uh, paper flat land. Flat land. <laughs> it's paper land. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I was wondering if I should. Oh, the... Mark's coming over with his paper. Hold on. <laughs> He's getting <it> verified <laughs> to prove the bingo to you. Verified and certified. Nice <laughs> bingo. That's so many more than I do. I, wow. Yeah, I've got three so far, and one of them is really four. <laughs> Mark got the good card. I've got five, but that's cheating on two of them. Oh. <laughs> okay, because the coins instead of money and the jewelry for the rosary. Mark, says, Mark oh. says, I'm going to take. No, he says, he no, says no, no. I'm going to take him off. So he says, okay, all right, go take yourself off over in the other room. No, so we'll just see who's second. Right. We'll see who gets bingo second. Well, yeah, okay. and then we can fill the card. I, I don't Yeah, I let's try and fill it up. And, and you guys will, I promise, you're going to find some stuff on here that are not reaching. So, so by the way, he was pushing the whole, he had a degenerative thing. And I thought he was going to say, well, that was hidden and he died. You didn't know about it. Yeah. Is Can I put that cancer? I have cancer on my card. Can I put cancer down for that? <laughs> Mark saying bye. I think that I don't think you could take that. Oh, but chips! Chip lost that blackjack game. He's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So sign out, Mark. Congratulations, Mark. Well I just, you know, I, I, I want to play again, but I don't want to play all day. <laughs> and I know what'll happen. So I got the idea. Now we just have to keep on it and fine tune it and i think we'll all learn a lot okay Mark. so how much is Bye. the pot that the, the pot that mark won i didn't hear the amount 
<laughs> He's going to make it. There is no, no, I mean, no, I didn't, I didn't win anything because I think you would have to say maybe you do uh best out of five or something. Mm. Okay. Better. All oh, right. Yeah. So I want to take a, like a quick break. So you guys can run and do whatever you got to do. So come right back. I'm just okay. going to turn off my audio. Nobody go anywhere. We're going to do more. Hey, so just pause like, your recording. Uh, are, oh. Are we go erasing? Ahead. Are we erasing our car and starting over? No, or? I think we're going to keep going on our car. Keep going. Okay. Let's okay. do this. We can keep going on this. I'll, I'll stop the recording. But, but I mean, we keep the ones ones. we marked down. So we're going right. to keep those, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Keep them. yes. Okay. I think, I think you're going to refine it as you go. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to start over from scratch. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> My next question is: Can I get Mark's card instead of mine? <laughs> <laughs> I know I've got like I say five lonely distant circle yeah, I have there. Such, like the, I, I want to say obscure because they are obscure and it's not like the ones Mark had I'm sorry but going forward I think that your card is going to do better than Mark's card because I think yeah. the stuff coming up is going to be from mm. you know. well she did say she got these words from the reading so I yeah. guess at yeah, some exactly. point they're going to so come my, my okay guess. five minute break all right we'll be right back We have a new player, Ooh. Cindy, Cindy Clark. Hello, Cindy. Hello. She's been using the same card as Mark. <laughs> I don't know if she's as generous as Mark raw. was. You made it raw. Oh, you have the same as Rob's. Oh, that's right. That's what you told me, Rob. I mixed up. Karen had Karen had the same one as, uh, as Mark. Okay. Hello, but hers Ronnie. is in a different order. I'm curious if you guys have the same things, but we'll see. And Cindy's been in a few of our stings in the past or recently. So, but they haven't been revealed. I haven't released them, but we've been doing more. You guys ready? Yep. Yep. Everybody back. Okay. Easy to play the game, she says. Okay. <laughs> um, I have next is another video that I have done on. This is an unusual one. Somebody's these are, <laughs> if you've watched my channel, you've seen these two. They are queens, queen, and boots, the drag queens. So this should be interesting. They do readings all day long, apparently. And, and <laughs> what they've done is this woman in the middle, you're going to see. She is hosts a, a, a TV show of some sort on YouTube. And you'll you'll know which ones are the drag queens. And they pulled on two people, uh, a man with his child and another woman. And they all are like the man and his child. He's a I think he's sitting in his hair salon and he's a single father. And they tell who they are ahead of time. They're like, oh, and I'm a single father and I'm, you know, this, 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 this. And then the other woman, I think she's been a model and her boyfriend's in the room with her, which is really interesting with some of the stuff that she's being told. <laughs> And so they go back and forth and you'll see them playing with their tarot cards and stuff. Anyway, this reading is 10, 11 minutes, but I'm only going to show part of it. Let's see how far you guys get with this. All right. I got to stop eating popcorn without being muted. Okay. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm I'm, I'm just, I'll just go ahead and start. Somebody stepping forth with a tragic death here. So I have two cards here that are pulled, and this is emerald in reverse. And then I have a card that looks like it was somewhat of a tragic situation. Does anybody on uh, either one of y'all's sides have somebody that might have died in a car crash or tragically? Mm. No, not me. Yes. Yes, was it a male individual? Yeah. Okay. You guys weren't romantic, but he did leave you something, correct? um yeah he, he we weren't romantic we were like he just had a little crush on me but we were always tight like we were so cool okay and i feel like he's pinching my butt not slapping it but pinching it did he do stuff what? like this like goofy stuff yes like, I guess yeah that's him this, that's him this yeah, would have that's been him. something he would have done to you and what's yeah. the significance of the umbrella? umbrella is there anything um was it raining the day he passed or did he it might have been raining it might have been raining Okay, so there's a significance to either rain or being protected from the rain. Um, was he a boxer or a fighter? Did he fight? No, he played football. 
Okay, that's fighting enough for me, girl. Honey. Hand, hand. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I guess the last part that I will pull is the wheel of fortune upright. When you dream of this person, you're really perceiving him in your dream state. And oh. um, red roses, is there something about rose petals or something red uh, falling? Okay, so I'm seeing like, um, you know, I get the end of anime movies when they have like mm -hmm. the secret of flowers that are like falling from the sky. Would this uh -huh. keep any reference to you or him or the individual on the other side? Um, the rare roses, not sure. Not sure. Report back. Think about it while we're here. I know okay, I'll think about it. Okay, surely you guys have got. Well, I didn't mean to call you guys Shirley. Shirley, <laughs> the whole don't call me Shirley. So, so he didn't say football, but she said football, and I have football. Can I take football? If I Wait, couldn't take the brother past, football? you can't take football. Yeah, <laughs> the sitter said football. Yeah, Cindy, you can unmute yourself. Would you get Cindy? Um, car crash, rose, and rain. Wow. And dream. Got rain. Yeah. Dream? I didn't hear dream. It was dream? Yeah. yeah she yeah, says she that to... in a dream. I missed that one. With the, when or they were talking dream. about the, t the tarot card, the wheel. Yes. When you dream mm -hmm. of him. So, all right, so I can't take football because he she, he said something and she said football. So how about the the um, rain? Because he said umbrella and she said, well, it was raining. Yeah, yeah because he it. said being protected from the rain. Yeah, what, what's this about the umbrella? Was it raining when he died? And he knows it was a car crash. So she knows it was a car crash. So yeah, rain definitely fits in that one. Umbrella, anybody have umbrella? Nope. Maybe I had flowers. Ooh. Rose petals. I had garden for rose petals. No. <laughs> <There is a reaction. laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I want to get more than three. <laughs> really two, but you know. I'll, I'll so coin. precise. You know, what's funny is that, uh, you know, we're all watching and listening to the exact same thing, whereas some people heard things and some people didn't. Like Rob didn't hear the word dream. Yep. No. Nope. It's very it, missed. And there was in the in the reading before this, the one right before this, there was something you guys said, and I didn't, I didn't the third dimension. I didn't hear anything about dimensions. <laughs> so you know, imagine if you're listening to this in an emotional state where somebody's like in contact with your dead whoever, and you don't have any way of writing anything down, or of course you're going to hear and misremember and do all sorts. It's going to be a it's going to be a mess. You can't. Okay. Nobody's got a bingo on that one. Okay, so let me try. Let me try again. This is, I think they're going to read the next guy. Can I, can I stop him? Because I don't want him to give any information. Because okay. I, I, I wanted to ask him a couple questions. Because that's kind of how I read. What's the situation with the housing? Um, are you needing to move? Or what's the situation? Because I also feel like charges or some sort of bills have gone up. Um, do you understand what I'm saying first before I go forward? <laughs> Repeat that again. <laughs> Hold on. I, I need to read. I need to hear that again. <laughs> you caught him off guard, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to understand is there something going on with the housing? Because I feel like either somebody is hiking up a bill or there's been an increase in the rent. And then there's something about wanting to move or needing to move. Um, and then something about the the state, the housing, like wanting to relocate or to move or something. I want to start with that first. Um, I I am planning a move actually, and yeah, I'm I'm nervous about a move. I I I plan to relocate. To well, you're nervous to about a lot of stuff, and um, I really um, don't want you to be because you have a lot of success coming in. You have something that you're getting ready to start to do as well. They also keep saying electronics, so I don't know if you're good with electronics or what that is, but there's something with electronics or computers or something that you're going to also be doing or to incorporate or come together. First, do you understand before I keep going? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me go yeah. on and listen. Also, where is the J and the L, like John Lewis? I don't know if this is two names or one name. Sometimes when I hear the names, it's either the name or the initial to the name. So I want to um, first, and it could be living or cross, just because I mentioned them doesn't mean they're past. Um, where's the name first, like Lewis? I don't know if this is two names, like John Lou, or what is this? But where's the J and the L name? 
the L is an X, but yeah, that's in the past. That, okay. that was a, a relationship 16 years and it's in the past. Okay, let me say this because it isn't in the past. It's a energy that is keeping you. It is floating, honey, and it is it's got you. And it keeps showing up in your life. There's also the situation with your father that keeps showing up in your life as well. We want you to kind of close the door on that and get some more understanding on that first. Let me start. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So we we need you because you got the baby in your hands, and that baby is going to you know, reap everything that's coming. So we got to close some of these chapters and some of these doors and be okay because reason why they're bringing up their ex relationship is because you still ain't saw how these things show up in your life, even inside of relationships. So you got to start to be accountable for how things show up in your life and how you allow it to show up in your life. You also have to stop carrying anger connected to being a single father. You understand? I do. I definitely do. Yes. And that's okay. And, and can um, I interject no, because, real quick? Yes, please. Real, just real quick, Queen, because I feel like the notion that I'm getting as you're speaking, I'm pulling cards, and I got the oracle card that is upright. There is a big dream of his, and you mentioned electronics, and he didn't have the reference to that. But I think a part of your dream manifesting itself, even as you are moving, deals with technology, or maybe this could be marketing or displaying yourself with some type of technological device. This is where I guess some of this detachment that she's speaking of is keeping you bound. You're not making steps forward. Because this non-healed energy, you just walk away from. It's like somebody who ghosts you on the internet. Like, okay, I was just talking to you, and now you're gone. And you carry that with you. Detaching from that makes your dream come into fruition in magnificent ways. And I feel like, again, the son, don't hold harbor or harbor any guilt because of the mom, because he's an indigo child. And that child is going to, to, to enrich your livelihood. It's done this yeah. way on purpose, OK? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But until we learn the lesson, we're going to keep repeating. Why do I Because not everybody's a good influence. And you have to remember yeah. that not everybody's a good influence. A lot of times, we want people in our lives, our children's lives, and they're, they're not going to be there for the benefit. So we have to look at it. If I could cross over real quick, Kaylee, what's the love life relationship? I heard it's a bunch of bullshit. Can, I don't know can what you, is going can on. Can you can you hold? <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <laughs> what train wreck did I just watch? <laughs> that was horrible. Does everyone know what indigo child means? I way? do. Sadly, yeah, I do too. It's it's most Say what it is, Rob. Term. Say what yeah. it is. The oh, I'll read audience. from Wikipedia. Children, according to pseudoscientific New Age concept, are children who are believed to possess special, unusual, and supernatural traits. A lot of them are supposed to be from other planets, aren't they? There's like some seed. connection to that. It's supposed to be seeds from from other planets. Star seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Star seeds. Yeah. On freaking. And and the people in the call are like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody says. What? Yeah, no. <laughs> indigo no. child? What the hell? They're like, yeah, yeah. I think it's an indigo child. I got a hit. You did? Real estate. Boy, did they talk real estate. Oh, you got, you. that's one of your words, real estate? You're afraid <laughs> of? Wow. Uh, yeah, they did. So I got someone moved. You said something got, about you planning a moving, right? Yep. Is that yeah, I got that one too. Yeah, okay. yeah. That one too. That's the only thing I got from there. Yep, me that. Well, of course, they said like, energy a bazillion times. And I already had that. And do oh, your I know. Energy, 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 energy. Yeah. <laughs> I drank. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. I got a backup because I've been drinking so much. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this is Kenny's drinking game, we would yeah. be in serious yeah. trouble if you had to take yeah. a drink every time it said energy. Oh my gosh, that would be the I went during the break, I put on an adult diaper just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sit here. Uh, only one? I've had mine on all day. Well, you, I don't have any pants on. I got right, a TMI, here. folks. TMI here. A bucket. <laughs> You're sitting on a toilet. <laughs> so Karen, Karen uh, had put on here. She says this person is too fabulous to be so horrendous. She said, Was he a boxer? So she has on her thing boxes. So she she check mark boxes on boxer uh, a J name 
And then she moved on to other letters. Boy, what was that? There's a J, a J L, J John Lewis, Lewis John, John. John. <laughs> like I was close. I was waiting because I have a gym name. Right. Mm. <laughs> like it says gym name. But it's I have a Jenny said... sounding name. Yeah. They didn't say didn't Jim at all. I, I have a Joe or Joe or Joanne. And I didn't go there. The closest I got was jumping. <laughs> you got jumping on your card, huh? I've got it on my card. I have a cross. That's right, right. Cindy says her cat says we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all right. To the classic ones, you know, Mary. I've got a Mary on here, but no one said Mary yet. Like, what's with that's that? a shock? Hey, we're no. being visited. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's saying she's talking to Cindy's cat. Meow. This is Imogen. So well, the, Quachi's in the room as well. I know you can't see him, but he is here. <laughs> oh, well, I feel his presence. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> so, okay. So this person right here is a really one that uh, Mark and I were really looking into years ago. Her name is Maureen Hancock. I'm fascinated by her because she wanted to be a star so bad. She always wears blue, just like... um uh who is it chip coffee because they have blue eyes and so you know they're marketing to trying to really make their eyes stand out to be more photogenic and you know it's just it's this thing so maureen hancock tried to be a star there was going to be a tv show they were trying to pitch called the psychic <laughs> Give me. Uh, you gotta wear more blue if you want a tv show it's almost like uh the psychic next door or the medium next door um, and then suburban psychic. She's over there where Kenny is over in the, in uh, Rob is, and I think in um, Boston area is where she is. <laughs> That's not where we are. <laughs> <laughs> New York Just because we're on the East Coast doesn't mean you're, everyone's you're bingo games are locations that aren't Australia. anywhere near each other. I'm in California, so you guys are far away. So it's like anyone um, in Canada. <laughs> <There's no laughs> well, yeah, all the Canadians know each other. Yeah, hey, yeah. do the two Canadians on on the Zoom call know each other? Yeah. Okay. See, all We've Canadians actually know met each in person, other. of course. We yeah, have. So yeah. All Canadians know each other. That's um, true. So, Maureen, the thing about Maureen is, and this is something, again, you know, I started really, I thought I knew a lot about psychics and all that. But when I really started doing these deep dives into stuff, I learned so much more. And people who I think is going on, people who, mediums who say they've solved a crime, like, uh, like they they say, oh, I'm getting an impression on on this, and they and they do a show and they make it public that they're doing a solving a crime. I don't think those people can get a show because it's it's like a ticking time bomb. As soon as that person is discovered or the crime is solved, then all of that bad coverage where they got it wrong is going to come out. And that's what Maureen did. She was trying to solve a crime. She's going around solving a crime and picked up the person like the sister of the murdered victim and took him in a car and they went to this empty lot and she's getting all this information. And I don't think that crime has been solved. And I, that's what I think. So I think they want young people like Tyler Henry who are so young and have no baggage whatsoever. They don't want people like a Sylvia Brown type that has already got all these atrocious problems. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a, so if you want to be famous and get a TV show, then you probably shouldn't have <laughs> their uh, cats are psychic and they're always looking for new ways to communicate very well. Yes, Cindy. So I think that if they want a TV show, they shouldn't do any kind of um, just keep it careful, be very careful. And I think that's why they look for these young people with no no problems. So and wear also... blue when you have blue eyes. Clearly, Absolutely. I got the memo. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got it. You I think it's also it. good when they pick uh, cases that are like. 40 50 years old because right. if it haven't been mm. solved by then or by now then it's likely it's not going to be so no matter yeah, what they point. say it doesn't matter you can't fact check it because you're never going to solve the case um but like as you as you said like today's cases if they start working on a murder case or a missing person case especially and they make this big prediction and like the day after it airs the person is found like alive when the psychic said they were dead Sylvie mm -hmm. Brown, um, you know, like <laughs> that, that yeah, can really look bad. The kid is, the kid is dead. <laughs> it's going to come back up and the media people, I mean, people like us are going to make a big deal out of it. Whereas it didn't before. It's like when, when uh, Tyler Henry had that reading with Matt Lauer, it was before Matt Lauer was found out to be not a, a good person. And so 
if Tyler Henry had not already had the stardom that he had, that would have probably brought him out, you know, brought him down. Right. But he already was, you know, a beloved psychic. And, and, and I, I think that his, I, you know, it's just a timing thing. Okay. So we're going to look at Maureen. Did, did, did you ever hear of this person, Monica the Medium? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I, I seem to know somebody who wrote the Wikipedia page. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is a college student. They followed her around college telling, you know, all her psychic and medium shit. And, and I guess she fell out of favor because it just kind of disappeared. The show it was on for, a few years and then it was gone. Yeah. I, I, that's why I think that Tyler Henry got in so easily is because they were looking for some youth. Yeah. Somebody with yeah. no, I think and, her show started about no baggage youth. and easily youths. manipulated. <laughs> youths. The youths. The youths. Youths. Okay. So Maureen, um, what I'm going to show you is a clip that I found. Again, this is one of those ones that you just, somebody recorded something after the show is over. So they're wandering. Oh, Adrian likes that. So, so like what happened is she's already done her show and there's some people gathered around and she's still doing readings to people who are standing around and the clip comes in late. So there's already content, but the person turns on their camera at a, at a point it was like, Oh, she's giving a reading. Oh, how do I turn my camera on again? And then she turns on a camera and gets this reading. So it's really one of those un and somebody uploaded it. Like, I don't know why. But it, so it's one of those unedited, spontaneous readings that is always really interesting. So check out, check out Maureen Hancock. Oops, shoot. I got the wrong bed. Now, did you Hold on. also put a brother pass? I got to pass. I've got to stop this. So these are just random people, but they uploaded the video. So they're fair game. Here we go. This is after the show. And she's, I don't know why she still has a little energy left in her to still do more readings. It's shaky and everything. Can't now, did your dad also have a brother passed as well? Before him? Long before? Okay. So there's all these people gathered, and I get him like, it's my brother, and the different people he got to see. I do want you to know your mother in law's right there, and I feel like she's making this happen for you because she has a heart of gold. And I think you helped take care of her, too, even more than some of her own. So she's thanking you for that. They're pointing to your necklace for some reason. So they're looking for something. Okay. Okay. Your dad must have a great sense of humor because now the heaviness has cleared out. And I get, what, was he army or something? Yes. Okay. So he's making a joke and like, and pulling his teeth out. So he's trying to make everyone laugh. He just feels fun to me. When I just said the sunset at the end, that rat was coming through. Did you feel that? Yeah. Or sunset? Yeah. Because I've never said that before. Um, oh, thank you for helping my mommy. I've got that. I like your daddy. He goes, I help everybody. <sighs> Who didn't get to say goodbye? Auntie to dad. Auntie Lou. Or into Karen. Like if someone got there late, they uh, well, yeah, their I, way, I was the one that was with him and my mother when he passed. Okay. My two sisters. So they so couldn't right make their over way at that very moment. Okay. Yeah. Here's what I heard though. I heard you. I heard you. Even though they said, "Oh, we just passed," and he's funny. I'm sorry, dry wit. Like I was still warm. I was still in the room. Yeah. I know you have an Arthur, so you'll figure it out later. Well, my mother had an Arthur of a of an uncle, but that was. Long, long Dead as a doornail, and they can come through. Oh so, and, and see, the thing is, your father just insisted, like, and there is an author here. Like, we're all here. And your father would invite everyone in. So oh, yeah. why the hell not, Uncle yes, yes. friggin' author? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so Dead as a doornail. warm. <laughs> she's got a really morbid sense of humor and i've watched her a lot of her readings and she she was trying to be the comedian i mean that was her stick is to be a comedian she thought she was funny and she would she would her whole like tagline was that you know we'll have a good laugh and at the dead people who at the dead come, look at rob <laughs> well, if you can't rob, laugh at corpses rob you can't laugh at and, and cindy like <laughs> oh man that's that was that was horrible. But that's what that is what the average person. Okay, so there's two people in this world. 
uh, who, who believe in mediumship. They, they think what they see on TV, the John Edward and the Sylvia Brown and the Tyler Henry, they think that's what mediumship is. And then there's those other people who've had readings and they look just like this. And when skeptics try to say, oh yeah, he's just throwing out letters and blah, 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 blah. No, they're thinking this kind of stuff where the person's reaching out, grabbing, touching them, touching it. <laughs> like, um, I, I like, like how she... Necklace. She she says he throws uh, teeth up. He throws there's something about like I hear I hear them talking and this and that. And she says, Oh, I heard you. That's what that's what I hear him saying. I heard you. Like sh you can hear phrases, but you can't hear a freaking full name. Yeah. Like <laughs> you can't actually give me a last name. That that's just ridiculous to me. First I know they're singing. Security number. So singing. <laughs> Is there singing? Hey, there's singing? Yeah, she said. She said the 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 guy that she was the, connecting with that took the teeth out was singing and dancing. Oh. I missed that. <laughs> I absolutely missed it. This is why we need multiple people to look at these dancing. I think that's what, what. I mean, I crossed it off. Hopefully, that's yeah. Because I got dancing and I got the brother that passed. So because he was guy to guy, guy singing and dancing and tossing his teeth. Yeah. I think I was just blinded by all the bullshit that I, I didn't hear. <laughs> I had to scrape some out so I could hear the rest of it. Well, I thought when she was going for the necklace, it was going to be the ashes and jewelry, and I was going to get to scream bingo. <laughs> well, yeah. Are you no, had ashes and jewelry on your that card. One. Pass that so quick. Yeah, but that's true. That's what happens. These people are just incredibly, um, they're all, all the mediums have a different style. And this woman's style is a physical Very and physical. humor. Yeah. I was confused about the teeth thing. Was she saying that up in up in wherever the other dimension on the other side, he still got fake teeth and taking them out? Or was he relating? So. Uh, or maybe I, they just take out their real teeth when they're on the other side. Who knows? I and thought that he was re she was relating a memory of when he used yeah, to that's take what out I wasn't his clear dentures. On. That's the other option. Right. But I don't know. It was creepy. Let, it let's go. I want to get my bingo. Whatever. But of course, <laughs> if that person was like. listening, said, no, he didn't have dentures. Like she wouldn't say that because she wouldn't want to embarrass her. Right. So she would take it as because she was vague. Oh, he's doing that up in heaven as a joke because you could remove any body of your part, part of your body, apparently, when you're dead, you know. But, well, then yeah. I'm taking oh. off my head and using it as a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and they're still in clothes. I think I they mean, did that in Haunted Mansion, the, the latest Haunted Mansion. I actually Mansion. liked Haunted yeah. Mansion. I went with Jane and we had a really good time. It was yeah. fun. Oh, I was so bored. Portland. Except I wanted the camera. Yeah, from mm. that new, the new one, quantum the quantum camera, so underused. Yes. Oh yeah, we're talking about haunted mansion. Okay, so <laughs> getting back to the cold reading. So Maureen is. Um, I'm going to show you another little clip. It's very yeah. short. So you ready? Let's see if we can ready. get a cat or bingo. Maybe I'll get one this time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll be a ghost. Yeah, I got a zip anything. that time. Zip. Oh. Well, you know, Maureen's Maureen's always going to try to help you out here. Let's see what we got. Oh, whatever. Does someone have a grandmother pass when I just yeah. left over? More sisters, oh, yeah. Oh, I just got a nice grandmother, tough, but nice. <laughs> yes. You know, like, I want to be heard. I'm like, I'm in the middle of something, man. <laughs> um, I don't care. You know, a spade a spade. Yeah. So, it, you know, I don't think you have a lot of people pass, but she's super strong. Uh, as a number one guardian angel, medical, someone medical. She was a medical. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw a white coat and all my medical symbols. Uh, she's your mother's mother. Yeah. Tell your mother. Your mom's still here, right? Because I heard tell your mother. And where's the four? Four. Does she have four kids? Four of one sex? There's four girls. But there were five. But there's four girls and four boys now. Okay. Our okay. And there was a baby, right? So what, you have a brother pass? No, no our sister. oldest sister. Oh, okay. But she was a teenager. Hold on. And this is what happened. That's why your father's inviting everyone in, even the authors of the world and the different ones. And that's we. well, you get it from your mom too, but definitely, you know, let them in, we'll feed them, we'll find a place they can sleep in, blah, 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 blah. And someone was even like either a firefighter or a cop as well. Was someone a firefighter, maybe? No, I just heard yes, sir, so keep that one and you'll figure it out later. Okay. Did she pass unexpectedly? Okay. Because I'm trying, but I'm out of oomph. But I can feel her trying almost too hard. Like, I want in. 
Um, uh, your mom is still here, so tell her that she came through with the grandmother. Who's the c c c c c c c c Okay, hold on. La 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 la. Um, is she a D name? Dwyer is the Dwyer is the main, her middle name. And is her middle name? Yeah, and if my mom's I came name is first, they give me the middle, and that's super important for the family. Grandma Dwyer. And and, <laughs> yeah. and was she in a car accident? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's right here. She's so, she is so strong because at the end, when I have nothing, I have nothing. And she's like, uh, okay, bitch, you have nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. But she's very sassy. Let's put it that way. Take away the bitch. Because she doesn't want her mother to hear that. She's like, I don't want my mother to hear that. It's okay. So, um, yeah, she's just, she's tough, you know, your, your sister. And just like, I'm right here. That doesn't define me. Um, she wasn't supposed to go in the car or something, and is she L, or is somebody like a Leah, or Linda, alive, maybe? Do you know Linda? Do you know Linda? Okay. Oh, shit. Who's the tape club lady? Um, <coughs> oh, no, I don't know. What? Is her mother Linda? Linda? Her and her boyfriend. Well, plus mother's I don't know. No, I'm good. I'm going to die. <laughs> no, please. Go ahead. Um, I just kept hearing that, like, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Lenny, we don't know All right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Another tragedy. You have a lot of tragedies around you. But your sister came through. Thanks to your father. <laughs> Thanks to your mother-in-law, who thinks of you like a daughter. And, and that. All right. So I many questions. Joel. What do you got? Guardian angel. There was an angel in that? He said guardian angel, yeah. I missed that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like the fourth time I've heard that clip, but I missed it. Um, so, I re got, I re got in, three of the ones already. Man in uniform. Oh, did you? Yeah. You kept yeah. saying army or firefighter or cop. I think yeah. I have a defective card. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, how could you have a defective card? Let me look at your card here. Not You're not getting yelling. anything. All right, right. So, Cindy, thank you for telling me that. I didn't put that down as man in uniform, but I'm going to take it now. Okay. <laughs> you really have some. Oh, you got purse. I got purse and number one from five. Yeah, and energy. Probably... That's it. What? I already had wow. that. And do you I'm understand? I'm finding that hard to believe. How could you have so few? Here, let me show everybody Kenny's card here. Hold on a second. Yeah, I got at least four of those repeated on this one round. She yeah. yeah she was doing a lot of the same stuff. You don't have any of those? Purse. Cool. No, or ice cream, no horrors. Hey, legs are now working. <laughs> no bunnies or Fridays, holidays. Wow. Yeah, no, none of those. Nope. No. No, he's he's good. The, the, the video's coming, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to get it all in one shot. <laughs> you and me both. I'm, I'm one away from bingo, and it's such a vague term i could almost say they maybe said it sometime but i don't know that, that was difficult because of so many questions like as soon as i put up the the question mark and went like that i started counting and i got 12 questions that she asked uh, them in, wow. in just that like 30 and or she's 40 going seconds from person to person to person to person yeah. to person just all over yeah, and it's your dad like and, and your mother-in-law who brought in these people and, and they and more the merrier and 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 was there ever a baby? Yeah, I think pretty much every human being was a baby at one point. So that's a yeah. <laughs> I was born an adult. I don't have any baby pictures. That's how was I know. Ever a baby. Uh Mork from Ork. They started as a <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, uh, human Benjamin being button thing okay. where you human start being. Out. Yeah, well, I thought it was interesting. Oh, there's a brother that passed. No, sister. Oh. Oh, that was confusing. She was a teenager. Yeah, oh, what I meant. Yeah. Well, let me let me rub my hand so I can figure this one out. <laughs> David Gluck says there's always stuff to find out later every time, and that was true. You know, oh, think about it. Yeah, yeah. you'll figure it think out. It. Yeah, take this back to somebody in your family. It will mean something. That's yeah, what Karen they, says. Um, Karen when says we went to okay go when okay. we went to Lilydale. Um, my wife and I we went and uh, they had a guest psychic uh, medium come in and they picked out Donna because she had, at the time, she had her electric blue wig on. Oh, yeah. Um, and no, they it. started rattling off stuff and she kept saying, no, no, it's wrong. <laughs> and the last thing he said, and very, very arrogantly, 
go home and ask your mother. She'll know. And her mother had just recently passed away. Oh. Um, so that was wow. Total so, fail. so wrong. And we had to leave because I was so angry. And uh, it's just it just shows you like, you know, like, oh, yeah, go home and ask. And, and it just shows you they have no freaking clue. No clue whatsoever. So until and I agree when until we in the skeptic community get better at understanding and explaining this stuff to the people who are getting these readings, they're going to think we're all just a bunch of naysayers and, and a bunch of bad people because we're our experience of psychics is not what they're experiencing. So, we so the problem here is the same page. with a religious, a religious personal experience. You cannot beat a personal experience. Somebody has a personal experience and no matter what facts you give them, nope, their personal experience trumps your facts. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, and except I've had that I happen up. with a coworker telling me about no, her grandmother or something is psychic because the the da. Even though I was giving her all the other little cold reading, hot reading, all these famous people are faking it. Nope, but her is real because she told her something. I grew up being told that I come from a long line of psychics and stuff. So I I'm kind of the antithesis of that little mold. I I break out and I question things. So Wow, maybe you are. So Karen you... says um, she even referred to folks who were in the other room, some lady with a tablecloth, somebody, Linda or something. She's drawn in just anybody she possibly yeah. can. Yep. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Missed with that too. I have a Cheryl Murphy one for you. Come on, Cheryl Murphy. <laughs> Come on, Cheryl. Come on. I Work need with one. Me. I need one. <laughs> okay. This is another woman who wears a lot of blue. Now, that last one, what's her name, did not wear blue in that clip. But almost every picture you will see of her, she's wearing blue. And it's really interesting. Here's another one. This one has brown eyes. But, oh, you know what I'm thinking of? is James Bond Prague. Always photographed in blue. You're making there. me want to change my top, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't trying for a TV show or anything, are you? I totally am. Oh, come well, on. <laughs> you just ruined it by being on my channel. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm eating Christmas candy because we had Christmas stockings yesterday and there's Santa couldn't fit everything in their stockings, so it just kind of got left over. Okay. Here's Cheryl. Here's Cheryl. And uh, now, so um, thank you. My mom had passed away in uh, June. Uh, I had found out that she had gotten cancer beginning of April. And I've been really struggling with that. Um, you know, not knowing if I did the right things, mm -hmm. you know, not, you know, helping her enough. And it was really hard. I know. I'm so sorry, too. And I know everyone on the call is just sending their love out to you at this moment. And I do feel a lot of heart energy coming through. You know, I feel a lot of either unfinished business, if you understand that, or leaving things left unsaid. And I, I get a sense, Teresa, because I'm going to try to move with you psychically through this, but always know that please come back to Thomas for mediumship readings too. I mean, always, because the healing, you know, mourning and grief is, there's no time limit on it and it's different for all of us. And it's such a sacred time that we have to just honor and and try to trust that there is um, there is healing happening also. Uh, but is there something about you moving, please? Or having to get rid of property there's something about a real estate transaction please teresa uh well i am a realtor my husband is a builder so um he's building a house now that we're going to have to sell and i hope that it sells quickly um yeah he is unfortunately not living with me at the time we are together but kind of separated so Definitely. And uh, look, uh, when I feel from your mom is she sends signs as angels or angel wings to let you know that she's around. And also that um, I don't know why I'm getting the sense of um, you feeling responsible or something around her passing or feeling like a guilt. I don't know. It feels like there's like I should have been there sooner or, you know, I should have gotten there. Well, she lived with me, but she was 97 and you know we held back from doing a lot of things because of her age and i just felt like you know should i have taken the step and had the surgery done mm -hmm. um 
you know, it took so long before we could even get any sort of medication for her that she wasn't even able to start chemo. Mm -hmm. But because she was so old, you know, at, at 97, we were afraid to do all these things. Mm -hmm. And you she know, had one bound, route, um, one uh, round of radiation, and that was it. She stopped eating, and that was it. Yeah, I feel that you have your mother's strength, actually, is what I'm hearing, you know, in some way that she's letting me know that she's walking, of course, that she's better, and that uh, it's always important to know that she's at peace. That's always the number one thing, Teresa, is to know that she's at peace and she's resting. And let's see, someone, if they could just mute themselves, I'm not sure who that is, but. Um, Are you able to um, see if she's with my dad or can you? bring him forward or yeah well uh because i'm trying to stay uh psychically with this just to see if she does come through but really the focus is about the healing with you i just mm -hmm. feel you gathering all these papers and going through them i did hear mm -hmm. the name john or james if you understand that please a j initial john is my my um uncle and my grandfather yeah because she says she's over there with a lot of people you know not mm. just dad and i just keep hearing animals hop running around i don't know if i feel little bunny rabbits i don't know if they're dogs or bunnies it's like they're just hopping and jumping uh so i'm not just so <laughs> tuning in i'm just feeling yeah, the way. I, I had a lot of dogs yeah. and uh right yeah I just feel the energy stream. It's like a wave coming in of animals, right? So it's it's not probably just one, but she's over there. And I want to tell you that, um, you know, your mother is uh, very complete. I just feel very complete and at peace in her life. And it's not about blaming or holding anybody responsible. I want to say that she knows that she was in good hands when she left this world, if you understand that, please, mm -hmm. uh, and that she is with God, that feeling. So I do her feel her being spiritual or religious, if you can Very understand much that. so, yes. Uh, so just knowing that, and I really, get, the last thing I hear from her at the moment is just, if you want to, uh, write her a letter. And, you know, it's not about, um, it's about really about expressing yourself emotionally uh but it is about you communicating with her and i want to tell you that um i don't know why she gives me the signs of angels again and angel wings but i really get a sense of that being a connection or a connecting sign for the two of you please you're very mm -hmm. much a heart-to-heart -heart connection and you know that uh in in some way she's still with you and i just want to say i feel like she's better than ever and that you smell her or you smell that fragrance or that scent around i'm sure mm -hmm. uh yeah, her bedroom was right next to mine right? yeah uh, and uh, she loves, uh, she loves, uh, you know, she always loved your hair is what she's talking about, always loving the beauty of how you always presented yourself. And once again, she could not be any prouder. And I have to leave you to say this again, Teresa, you have her strength. That's what she's telling me. Like you, you're very, very strong. Okay. And uh, there's so much love coming to you. And I'm, I'm going to leave you with that, Teresa. Um, Thank I just you. know that there's something about you connecting with her through writing, you know, whether you're yeah. writing just a letter in your journal, please know that in time has not passed on the other side, like she's right here with you. And she says she can breathe again, you know, and I know you mentioned eating, but no, she's breathing and she's eating. She's thriving. I feel like she's playing checkers and here comes the board games and very social with your mom, if you understand that, or at least, mm -hmm. you know, loving, loving to have people around her. Mm hmm. And Thank your you so all, much. Yeah, your mom is all heart and she's in a good place. And it's really about you getting rest or caring for yourself. And, and you'll see her again, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Once again, I hope so. <laughs> Someday. Her. He's in good hands. And their bunnies are jumping and jumping. <laughs> so if they, I've had this videos. I've, I did a whole series of the trees, uh, Cheryl Murphy. They're all up on my YouTube channel. And then just Christmas Eve, I did a whole bunch more with Cheryl Murphy. And there's an article come out today. And a skeptical inquire. I haven't released it yet because it just came out. Or the title is wrong. So I'm waiting for them to correct it. And they didn't put any photos in it. So that article. Oh, I thought you named the article just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that the article is called A Whole Lot of Hooey. <laughs> but they called it Is uh, Cheryl Murphy, Is It a New Psychic? That's not even a sentence. <laughs> oh, God. 
So we but, just. But if it was just wrong, part, that would be okay. The bunnies are hopping. The hop, hop, hop. I love the hop, hop, hop. <laughs> But she couldn't mention a cat for me. No, no. There was no cat. Hopping, I see. Hopping, hopping. And she just repeated the stuff that I've already got crossed off. Like energy. Wait, you had didn't have jumping before. Who has jumping? Oh, oh jumping! I missed the jumping bunny. How did you miss that? I come back with the jumping. I said, I don't I said, have anything. I said, yes. And there was other ones in there. There was um, the real yeah. I got again, angel again. Smelling. Yeah, I got. Do you still smell them? That's actually a pretty common one. I hear that in multiple readings. <laughs> Rob looks like, <laughs> we still smell them. Well, hold on a second. The door is open. Oh. I do not like that person. Like she has Cheryl? a face. I just want to she's, she's smack smooth. with a two by four. She's trained she's by Thomas John, but she's not trained to hot read. She's she's one of these I don't like her at all. who think she's a well, medium. And since you explained the reason why they say you you understand that is to get the yes she she used that it doesn't times. mean they understand the reading it means it's but like she, saying can you hear me yes you understand yeah, comprehend a lot of people just end the sentence with right yeah. right but they don't really wait for a response as somebody oh. who was on the show it annoys me every second sentence he says that and yeah. i know the person does not agree with them but he just goes on and says it right right <laughs> <laughs> right? right can you hear me can you hear me? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. And you'll hear some of these people. They're they're they just it's like a it's like a tick in the yeah. you know, they're just yeah. constantly saying the thing. They're not even thinking about it. It's just like a boom, 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 boom. Yeah, like some people say like, like all the time, like, like, like. And you don't even think about the word like. Like, um, this like is uh, why it, this is why it's so much fun when you sit for a reading and you get that question because you can be right on top of it. As soon as they say, Do you understand that? No. <laughs> that's right let's Thank break you, this Mr. down Metal. here's your money back <laughs> yeah yep right. yeah. that's, that's happened a quite a few times yeah I, that's this is what bugs me that people i don't see people doing that it's like i said like, are you telling me they're taking their teeth out up in heaven is that what you're telling me i want to know what you're talking about but they don't do that they just go oh 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 i don't get it my, my oh, grandmother oh. had the greatest question that she loved to talk to me about and it was that in heaven she was in her 80s when she was talking about this. In heaven, do I get my 30-year-old body back or my 20-year-old <laughs> body back? Or am I going to be 80? I don't want to be 80. Like, what's up there? Like, what? what's... <laughs> she just... She's well, it's like they, they just are making stuff up. And, <laughs> and depending on which day of the week it is that you're having the reading with whichever psychic, it all changes. Yeah. None of it makes sense. It's not like there's a rule book that they're all going from the same way. Well, here's what heaven's like. In fact, Karen just said... Um, eating, breathing, yeah. playing checkers. So that's what heavenly eternity is, is playing <laughs> checkers. <laughs> I mean, and then she says she uses, I wonder what the boots like inserted mid sentence over and over to get an, uh, affirm affirmation response. And, and please, please. And I think, um, the, uh, drag Queens did a lot of that too. They yeah. said they had a phrase, one of them, Queen, I think she has a phrase where she would say, um, do you understand this, please? Yeah, she said that a lot. Well, and Seth Andrews this week, uh, you know, posed the question, is there suffering in heaven? Mm. And if there's no suffering, then that means there's no free will, right? Because suffering is, we bring upon our sufferings with our free will choices, right? Down here on earth. And so... If there's no free will in heaven, then that sounds like hell, doesn't it? Well, well, there's no emotional suffering, and this is an apologetic, because it says in the Bible that that will be wiped away and you won't do that. So then then I have to ask, so your memory is going to be wiped, or you're just a fucking asshole, because now you don't care about all your friends and family burning in hell for eternity, right? So it's one or the other. Either you do remember that and you don't care, or your memory is wiped and you're not the same person anymore. And none of it makes or sense. Or it doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't. it's either it all makes sense to whatever you want it to make yeah. sense, or you're not supposed to you're not supposed to think about it that hard. Because I remember when I was in the, re the world of religion up until I was 19 or so, I I had to attend church, and I could not grasp heaven because they'd say, "Oh, you're sitting at the right hand of of God," or Jesus is right there, and I always thought. What if I don't like him? You know, what if we don't think about him? <laughs> what if he smells? What if I think yeah, he's what, an asshole? Why would I want to sit Man, there and listen old. to angel harps or something all day long? But, it, you know, the idea, and then they would say, oh, but actually this. And I thought, oh, so can I, 
is our pets in heaven? Do they have souls? Well, well dogs, we don't really don't know. Them. We'll have to wait until we get to heaven to see. That's what my mom's answer was always. Well, we'll have to wait until we get to heaven to see. And nobody knew. And it got to a point where I think we're just making everything up. Are we just making this all up? Because it feels like yeah. everything's just being made up. Like, depending what on if what God is. smelled like patchouli or something awful? Patchouli? What's what that? Is that? Um, that, yeah. that icky incense? That... Oh. So I used to have I used to have a whiteboard at work when I used to work uh, to, to 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 encourage conversation and and I would write things like you know things that you think are true that aren't kind of like the George Robb song, but but one of the things I would just put on there if I had nothing for the day is the the main the main thing that's wrong with the world is that somebody makes up shit and people believe them and this psychic stuff is an exemplar of that. But these people need to believe. They I know. need to. They need. It's not just they want. Sad. They need. Uh, I need to get a bingo. <laughs> well, I'm one. I'm still one waiting more. for one. I want one. I'll try more. one more. It's been two hours. You guys got it. Got it in you to do a little bit more. Uh, I can. Well, I can yeah, a little bit more. more. Then I want to go home and eat. <laughs> well, I haven't eaten either. Big I had, boys got to eat. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I had Christmas candy. You didn't share. Okay, we I had, had no Christmas candy. I had Christmas, Christmas cake and cookies. And popcorn. So for Kenny and Rob at six o'clock there, right? <gasps> so, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. And they're old, so they have to eat early. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to have this. There's, there's, <laughs> there's <belief> in... <laughs> Finger works. <laughs> Finger works. I joke. My sister always eats dinner at like four o'clock in the afternoon, and oh, she's like yeah. fifty-four. So <laughs> early bird. I usually have early lunch, bird dinner. And that's it. I don't even know what I have for lunch. I food is just like eh. Susan's okay, not so going to eat anything because she's just watching popcorn. That on, on, popcorn on and milk duds. Popcorn. Well, I do have my milk duds over here, yeah. but I haven't been eating milk duds like I should, like I used to. <laughs> like you should. <laughs> oh, Katie oh, got them too. Oh, milk duds. I don't eat them now, like I used to. Adrian, have you ever seen milk duds in real life? Yeah. Are I, they like rosebuds? Put it this way. I toured with Susan. So yes, I saw. <laughs> We've been looking for milk duds. Yeah, had pocketfuls. Always, wherever we went. Are they oh. like rosebuds would be in Canada? No, no, because okay. uh, milk duds have, they, don't they have caramel in them? Susan? It's caramel with milk chocolate. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And they're not, and they're called duds because they don't, they're not perfect. Yeah. They're so it's kind of like an imperfect Rolo. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, because I've always been curious. There's there one. We go. There you go. See, so they look like gloss at raisins, but they have caramel inside. They look yeah, like raisins, yes. but they're That's caramel. Caramel with milk. I'm just gonna lick my they're... screen so I can taste that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're a perfect food, like pizza. See, the caramel there's nothing special about it. All right, next psychic. All right, now this is audio okay. that I recorded. Mark, myself, and Paula Lauterbach went to go see Matt Frazier in Los Angeles, September 2019. And I just kept the camera, the video, the audio running the whole time. So I've clipped them into different clips. And this is four minutes, 50 seconds. I don't know if I'll show you, let you listen to the whole thing. But this is, and I snuck a picture too. So what you're going to see is the photo I took before they told me I can't take pictures. And I blurred out the people in the room. So, you know big deal anyway so matt frazier's got to be one of the best cold readers i've ever seen he's charming he's fast he's well dressed <laughs> and he is glib he's got it down and this guy is like oh i need it and i want your mother and your mother she's telling me she wants me to hold her hand can i hold her hand and then they hold her hand everybody's crying all over the place it's, he's really good at it so i've seen him hot read but mostly he cold reads. So I don't even know what this clip is. I, I can't remember. I'll so remember when I get started. Hmm? Either you you or Kenny wrote an article where you just, maybe it was Kenny's article, where it, where it was described how he's got this technique of standing on the end of an aisle. And oh, that's me. Down. Yeah. Mark figured that out. Yeah, so what that, he does is he has really 10 do. people in a row stand up. And if you see my arms like this, flat like that, 10 people standing up. Oh, that, that was, yeah, Mark, I wrote the article. Oh, you but did Mark, write the article? Yeah, Mark he did wrote a little about, yeah. picture of it? Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was an amazing and, you're, and if you're the medium right in front of 10 people and you lift your hand and you say, who had a miscarriage? Then when you move your hand to the person who's reacting, your hand makes a huge motion. Whereas if you stand at a 45 degree angle and tell the people to stand up and then you're pointing at an angle. Or right down the line, you hardly have to move you're your hand. Pretty much all. only go like this. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. when the person reacts. Binga. Binga, yeah, binga, binga. Exactly. So Mark figured that out and it's brilliant. And so he does that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I get... Okay. Here comes here comes Matt. Come on. We're Matt. gonna go out on Matt. So because it's just give it to me, Matt. Give it to me. So let's see what we get. I don't know what it is. I'm just listening to see. I feel like I'm connecting right with you. I think he what gets louder. Right here. Yep. Yeah. Did your dad also depart? He's still here in the physical world? Yeah. Hold on. Oh my God. Who shot themselves? No, I'm over here. <laughs> Who is that to you? Um, he shot himself here in the physical world? Because yeah. I said to him, I'm like, are you sure? Because I don't, if you can remember, I don't know this. I don't Google, your, Google this shit before I come here. <laughs> what happens is, is that I lied on the other side to show me what had happened. He was standing behind behind you, and he's got, I don't know if it's, it was his father that had passed, he's coming through the father figure around the other side. And then what I was hearing was, is all of a sudden, he, I, I said, how did you pass? He showed me a gun put up to his head. So the fact that he shot himself here in the physical world, it's his way of acknowledging that he's stepping forward. And that he's speaking, you also lost somebody in this way? Who was that to you? Your brother. He was shot. No, so it wasn't in this way. Know that one of the things is that this is his way of acknowledging that he's stepping forward. Because you're going to remember, I'm going to come over to that side. You're going to know that when somebody passes, it doesn't matter how long ago you've known them. It matters about the connection and the feeling that you have with that person. So even though that you that you hadn't talked to him and spoke with him for years and years and years, the two of you were close at one point, yeah. very close at one point, because yes. he's acknowledging of back when you were younger here in this world. And I'm gonna tell you, he used to have a crush on you back when you were younger, because he's acknowledging that and he's laughing that about that on the other side. But he also tells me that he was having family issues here in this world when I'm connecting with him. Yes. Do you understand that? Because when I'm speaking to him, he says, our life went on two different courses. Yes. And when I'm speaking to him, he tells me there was family issues, there was family problems, and he keeps telling me he had to leave the house younger. He was out of the house young. Yeah. Because he says, I always was on my own. He says, and the hardest part of my life is he says to me, I had such a hard time finding love here in the physical world. He says, that was the number one issue that I had had. And he shows me when I'm connecting with him, him going and trying to trying to get somebody, to, trying, to, trying to be in a relationship, trying to, to love somebody. He says, and what I want you to know is that even though there was so much distance that was here, he tells me that he remembers being with you from when you were younger. Because you were so close with one another. He remembers running to the neighbor's backyard and being connected with everybody and being in the same family in the neighborhood with everyone. Yes. He says, and we loved each other so much. He says, and you actually showed me what true love was back when you were younger. Because he said to me, I didn't have a family of my own. He goes, my, me and my family didn't get along. There was issues in the family. He tells me there was drinking and alcoholism that was going on in his, in his family. And he tells me that he spent time at your house or with your family, with, with your people. Do you understand that? Yes. And he says, I want to thank you for helping me have a good upbringing here in this world. And I want to thank your family for the, way that you, for the way that they loved me, even though I was just a neighborhood kid. He says, but the thing was is that he's also saying that he's sorry for the way that you found out about his passing. Because all of a sudden, out of the blue, I felt like he started online or it just popped up that he had passed. Um, you know, my friend had called me right in the middle of work. Oh, to tell you that he had passed. But why was it? Did you have to miss the services? Did you not get to go? Um, I almost missed it. Okay. I in, yeah, I was visiting my mom in Texas. I had to change the flight and everything just so I could barely make it. Know that he knows that you did that. Because he says to me that, he was telling me that, talking about missing the flight. So listen, or missing the, the um, funeral. So know that when you changed it, just to get back to his funeral, know it's his way of saying thank you. He says, because you remembered me after all of these years. He says, and I want to thank you for coming with me because he's acknowledging that. And the funny part is that when I'm connecting with him, he loved music here in this world. Because when I'm connecting with him, he shows me he's to like write music or do things with music because he's blasting music on the other side. And he tells me that's one of the ways that he uses to reach you. So if all of a sudden 
you go and you start hearing music that reminds you of him, know that that's his way of letting you know that he's by your side, that he is safe and at peace, and that his soul is with you. All right? Give them a round of applause. <laughs>
and and he missed that and you know without her notes that would have seemed like to him a reality that she said one name and it was the correct name classic remembering the hits and forgetting them yeah yeah. right even even if you're trying to do otherwise like kind of we are here okay i'm gonna go guys it's been uh, fun and instructive all right enjoy the rest of the sorry again for your loss rob Rob. thank you yeah we See can you, talk Rob. about you when you're gone. Okay, I'm going to okay. show you guys really quick the screen that uh, I got a wow. I got a card from um, Karen, who was doing the same card as Mark, I believe. Let's see what she got. And while you're doing that, I did what Kat suggested. Uh-huh. Seventeen out of the twenty-five would refer specifically to me. Wow. <laughs> and I'm I've also got a huge you. list here of of. N- you know, Here's general phrases. Got. Rosary name, energy, for animal, mom still in this world, lungs, chest area, drowning, having breathing problems. He was a boxer, which so she got boxes. She's at peace. They're okay. Look at that. Wow. She didn't get a bingo, but she got clothes. Oh, Old photos. And I know some of the other audio I have has a lot about photos. They bring those up quite a bit. So Karen, who said she was only going to be here a few minutes. He did the whole two hours. Huh? Oh, and, and David Gluck says, boy, it's a lot like a gish gallop. Yes. Yeah. You're right. They yeah. just throw throw enough out there that you can't you can't pay attention. You can't can't catch it all. Yep. What were you gonna say, Adrian? I think you were starting to say something. Oh, nothing. I was just gonna be more specific about my hits, which you know, I talked about the black dog, but one on here is my an end name. Well, my grandfather's name was Norman. Elizabeth. Oh wow. My, I know Elizabeth or Mary. Well, my grandmother's name was Elizabeth, right? You know what I'm saying? Like these, they're, they're so general and you're going to get a hit of some sort. And yeah. it's, it's amazing well, that people think this is special. Yeah. Well, and what about cancer? I think all of us could say we know someone who had yeah. cancer or we had cancer because yep. nowadays Absolutely. you don't really die. You don't, you don't always die from cancer. Even when I was a kid, because I had cancer when I was a kid, you don't always die from cancer. Yeah. I would, uh, I would have, out of my card, only five would register with me. Would or wouldn't? Think, uh, wouldn't? So, yellow. Would. would. Yellow, because I usually use yellow text whenever I do my videos. Um, oh, man, that's like reaching. Thumbnails and stuff. Yeah, They're I know. They're all reaching. They're all reaching. Ice cream, because I like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, who uh, doesn't? What else? Uh, yellow ice cream. Take a vacation because my wife is always yelling at me that she wants to take a vacation. Not until you finish redoing your kitchen. I, I got a lot more work to do than this. Wow, so no vacations for you. Uh, the month of May is my anniversary and a tattoo because I have a bunch. Right. That, that's it. <laughs> well, you know, my, everything else is vague. I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, on my card is purple one. Live near water. Because I yeah. love new work. I can see the bay from where I live. Cancer. The numbers one through five. I think that will apply to almost anybody. Uh, uh. Um, and actually, that's about it. And of course, I love cake and ice cream too. But then who doesn't? Yeah. Well, that's right. That's a Barnum thing. Weird people. Weird people who don't. <laughs> and I didn't count the from numbers from seven to ten or the number fifteen because I mean you could make that fit anybody, but you know. But I, I so I didn't count that one. But you know, yeah, so it was pretty good. I could I could really believe that somebody with my card was knew me well if I didn't know right. Better. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, uh, it's it's interesting. So I'm glad we all did this together. I hope this is oh. is something that maybe maybe I'll do it again. Um, It was fun putting together because a lot of these clips are clips I've had for ages and I've got tons more audio here. And what I was trying to do is just trying to get us to understand and for viewers on my channel um, to understand how, how general statements are. And even us made connections to things that weren't real connections like Kenny and his highlighting in yellow. (laughs) I mean, God, I mean, and I have a video out there that um, is called Windy versus Windy. And I like to use that as an excuse because, not an excuse, but it's a good example because he's got this medium giving a reading to this woman. She's already discovered her, her brother died in a car accident. And, and she tells her, oh, it was really windy that day. And something hit the windshield and he got distracted. That's a medium says. 
and it's just really, really windy. And the, and the sitter says, windy? Oh my gosh. And the medium says, what? She says, my parents lived on Windy Lane. And it's really near to where the guy died. My brother died. And they're like, she goes, oh my gosh. He's definitely here with us then. So she and, made the connection. That's and like, it's not even close. It's like <laughs> windy as in wind. On the, it was, right. I have the audio. The audio is up on my YouTube channel called Windy versus Windy. There is no ambiguity at all with the word windy. Like it's the wind is blowing. Oh, we have a baby. Oh, it's sweaty. You can't even see the eyes. Oh, there's the eyes. There's your eyes. There's the eyes. But it's just like. You are trying so hard. You're a motivated sitter who's trying so hard to have a to have a connection that you're going to go to any lengths possible to make that connection. It's really interesting. Yeah. As we were going through, I, I started a list of like, it was a tragic death. Was there a car crash? Was there cancer? Was it a life that was ended too soon? Was there a sudden illness? Something to do with holding hands? There was no chance for somebody to say goodbye. The person was stubborn or they had a really interesting personality. Um, you didn't see eye to eye with somebody about something. Money or finding coins. Um, you got to let go of the guilt or the anger, uh, the medical symbols, the, you know, there's something to do with a letter or a will, drinking or alcohol, firefighting, cops, um, you got to take this back to your family because it, it's going to resonate with somebody. You need to have your closure now. And of course, sending love. <laughs> like, I like the, the, the medical symbol thing that stood out to me because that was after the fact. Like uh -huh. she asked the two sisters if anybody worked in like medical medical field. And they both said, yeah, like she was a nurse. And then she said, oh, yeah, I'm seeing the medical symbol. Yeah. And that really stood out to me. Like, did you well, really? Most, most That's not what you that. said first. Most psychics well, do that. They claim the yeah. thing. They they, oh, yeah. they confirm whatever it is they said. I'm going to put out here. Karen said that only eight on her scorecard would not in any way apply to me. So 17 possibly would have been hits. Now, see, I saw the number 17. So I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> Well, I'm sure also, you have that written down as affirmation. Yeah. That, yes, see, it's right see? here. I, yeah. Psychically, I knew you had done that. What's the <laughs> name? Because we're connected. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say the um, personality characteristics that the psychics throw out. Oh, he was so opinionated. He was happy. They always had room, drew people in, let people come in. It's like, yeah, those are kind of common characteristics. I mean, we all describe ourselves and each other in very common um, phrases, face phrases. And I was watching this. Uh, I like true crime shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was watching one that was going to do it from talk about the victims more than the person who killed them. And so they had their relatives and friends describe these victims. And it, actually, the show was boring because. The relatives and friends described the victims with almost the exact same words each with each new victim. Yeah, that's why I'm never going to be on Dateline because nobody's ever going to say <laughs> she just lit up the room when she entered <laughs> and she drew people to she her. Blue. She, you know, <laughs> I won't blue. Uh, but yeah, it's like a lovely shade of blue. When when a psychic finally snaps and kills Susan and the news comes to me and asks what you thought of her, I'm going to be like, she was crazy. <laughs> she was not, I didn't know half the shit she was saying. I was confused all the time. <laughs> Somebody's going to try to get me soon. And I, I have been waiting for that moment for a long time. All my neighbors are aware. Everybody <laughs> knows they're going to look at certain psychics to see who was where and when. Somebody's going to take a shot at me because I, I ain't giving I, up. I have a list that my wife knows where to go. And if I die unexpectedly, like these are the suspects, <laughs> Look at these people, and it's on it's it's on my laptop, my PC, it's on everything, so she can find it. I, I find this all so strange. Like why? Like, why what? Piss off why people, would... man. That much, like we all piss off people at some yeah. point. No, no, this is their livelihood. As a teacher, I pissed off people because I failed them, right? Like, <laughs> well, you've ruined their life, Adrian. Oh, yeah, 
they I think that's a lot more life interfering than saying psychics are frauds or not frauds because that's the the can't say that word word. can't say that word psychics are just three vampires three vampires that you can say we can say so they're they're full of crap you can say that no no somebody's gonna I, i because i am not giving up that that video that just came out with thomas john and uh some matt guy who refused to say my name they I said know. They spent like two minutes talking about me but refusing to say my name refusing and then i left three comments on that video and they deleted them all like they're afraid of me but i'm gonna go saying, find the original video and i'm gonna make the comments now well please do it's all it's right there you can't miss it it's right there but this that's what i mean it's like they have to i'm not stopping it's been years I'm not letting go. And if, and I have a whole team of people who are right behind me. So I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not letting go. I'm like, a all, right. Are we all right, done? you guys. I got to get going. Say hello yeah. to Donna for us. I will. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me two and a half hours or ish. Um, I really appreciate it. That was fun. I'm gonna. Uh, this is on my channel. Hello, everybody who hung around. I appreciate that too. I hope people learned something a little bit, and I did. And that was. I don't know, it was just fun to hang out with people too. <laughs> hang out with you guys. That was fun. Yeah, it was a blast. Thank you so, so much share for the inviting video me. Whenever it comes out, um, I'd appreciate that. Let's get some more people to view. I think skeptics really do need to take this more seriously. Absolutely. Yeah, and it all applies to all the pseudosciences. It's not just like Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Never mind.